Hello, scientists. Feliz jueves. How are all of you doing today? Hmm, a little so-so. That's totally fine. I'm hoping you're all still up for some great learning regardless. I know that I am. Plus, we're going to be learning about somebody today that fits into all of our criteria for a scientist. Well, I don't see why we can't just get started now. Before we get to the scientists we'll be learning about, I wanted to give us some background on their research. Our research this week is rooted in the question about masks, which is connected to what's going on around us with the virus. When we first learned about coronavirus last year, it wasn't actually the first one we had dealt with. There have been different strains of coronavirus before this one, before, but this one was new to humans, us. Our bodies didn't have immunity against it. Because of this, doctors and scientists pretty much stopped what they were doing and focused all of their work and learning about the COVID-19 coronavirus. I know that when I run experiments, I have a couple questions, but I have a feeling that these scientists had very many. What kinds of questions do you think scientists had about this new virus? Wow, I think a couple of you might be right. Those are great questions. The scientist that we'll be learning about today has actually been studying coronaviruses and other types of viruses for the last 15 years. A friend of mine told me about this scientist, and I knew that you all had to learn about her this week. This scientist's name is Dr. Kizmekia Corbett. I found a picture of her on the website for the American Society for Microbiology. She is a research fellow and the scientific lead for the coronavirus vaccines and, immu and immu immunopathogenesis team at the National Institutes of Health, NIH, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, the Vaccine Research Center, VRC. From the research that I did on her, I learned that she has been researching how our bodies react to different viruses. Knowing this helps us learn how to make vaccines so that viruses aren't so severe or that we can be immune against them. Her and her team's research was crucial to the vaccines that have already come out. Wow, scientists, she really embodies something important that all scientists should do, help others. Can you see how her research has helped other, can help others? Muy bien, I see that too. This is what she had to say about what she does. To be honest, I didn't realize the level of impact that my visibility might have. I do my work because I love my work. I'm so grateful that she's dedicated to helping solve a problem that affects everybody. And she's inspiring many young scientists while she does it. If you can meet Dr. Corbett, what would you ask her? Wow, those are some great questions. I'm sure she would give some really great answers. She seems like a wonderful person. Dr. Kizmekia Corbett and many other scientists have worked really hard to make sure there'd be accurate information and safe vaccines available to all of us. Although the vaccine isn't available to everybody quite yet, there are things we have been doing and can continue to do in the meantime to help prevent the spread of the virus. Do you know some things that we already do that we should continue doing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you all know a lot of things. Do you mind if I write these things down? I think it'd be a great reminder of what I need to do whenever I need to go outside. Great, I have some paper right here. Bueno. So some of you said something that is related to our research. Wear a mask when you're out. Let me put that down. Wear a mask Ooh. when you're out. We'll draw a little mask. We in. I also heard some scientists say, stay six feet apart and wash your hands for 20 seconds. Let me write those two things down. Oh, that's a color we cannot see. FT means feet. And wash your hands for 20 seconds. And these 
These are the bubbles from the soap. Do you know, yesterday when I was doing the experiment, I showed you the incorrect way to wash your hands, but I never showed you the correct way. Before we end our time today, I wanna make sure that we take some time, uh, that I take some time to show you how to properly get all of the germs off your hands. You should wash your hands many times throughout the day. After you go to the bathroom, before you eat, before you put on your mask, and after you remove it. And these aren't the only times though. To wash your hands, you need water, soap, and something clean to dry them with. I'll show you right now. The CDC recommends that you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. I usually sing the regular ABCs in my head, not the ABCDEs, while I wash my hands. All right. So I don't have running water like a sink, but it'll work. And you don't have to use a lot of soap either. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I wash my hands. Next time, won't you get clean with me? Mm, still a little soap. There we go. Did you see how I cleaned under my nails and between my fingers? Those are the areas that had a lot of glitter yesterday during the experiment. Well, Scientificos, that's all the time we have together. What did you enjoy about learning about, what did you enjoy learning about Dr. Corbett? I like learning about how she helps others through her work. That really inspires me. Feel free to do more research on her when you have time. When we meet tomorrow, we will wrap up our learning by answering the question, why do we have to wear masks? Nos vemos mañana. Enjoy the rest of the show.